Hello children, how are you? I hope you must be fine and taking all the precautions to prevent yourself from the virus as well as uh, uh, you are obeying your mother, listening to her and at the same time studying also. The, you must be getting uh, video, uh, videos as well as a PDF. Make sure that you uh, take out the hard copy of the PDF and uh, uh, the thing, whenever you find time, please write it down. But you take down the PDF, but you take the hard copy of the PDF. Hmm. Today for the English Literature class children, today we will be doing lesson number 6 that is the uh, White Mouse Circus. Now mouse. Let's talk about mouse. We all, all have seen mouse. Generally you, they come to your house as an unwelcome, unexpected guest. Right? And your mother shrieks, shouts and all. So how do they look? They look small, tiny and uh, they are usually black or dark grey in colour. But the story today which we are going to talk today is about a white mouse. About a white mouse. Now these white mouse are generally very different from the mouse which we see at home. These mouse, uh, white mouse are timid, cute and then you can keep them as uh, the, as your pet also at home right so lesson number six the white mouse circus now who is the author the author of this book is donald dells now this book has been written by donald dells and actually this story the the white mouse uh, circus has been taken up it has been taken from the story from the story book called the witches the witches right so it is an extract of a extract the story is an extract from the witch book the witches now donald if you talk about donald donald is a very famous writer he was born in 1916 in wales and he died in 19 uh, 1990 when he was alive during his expanse of uh, ex uh, during his span of uh, when he was living he became, he wrote many story books many story books he was a very famous writer and he his he uh, wrote stories about uh, for adults like grown up people like us and he also wrote stories which uh, was interest towards children the children used to get attracted some of his work, some of his stories which he has written is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Charlie and the Fo Chocolate Factory is a story for children. He has also written James and the Giant uh, Peach. Uh, Matilda. Matilda again is a story about a girl who, uh, about a girl and it is for the children. He also has his famous work like is also the witches. So these are his famous books which he has written. Right. Now children before starting the story I would like to tell you in small, in brief the story what it is about. The, little, uh, the white mouse circus. Now in this story he, these are the characters. Grandmother, young boy, uh, this thing, Willy, uh, uh, William and Mary, whose name, they are the names of the white uh, mouse. Mr. Stringer, he is the manager of the magnificent uh, hotel and the chambermaid. Right. Now, this young boy, young boy, his name is not given. He is on holidays. He goes to his grandmother, who is not well. Right. Uh, his grandmother who is not well. Now this boy when he arrives to his grandmother uh, the doctor tells him, advises her to stay in a, uh, a in a place far from the city in a remote place, remote area where the uh, atmosphere is clean uh, fresh air and uh, happy environment. 
so they decided to go to uh, they decided to go to a hotel which hotel magnificent efficient hotel which was in uh, which was in bournemouth mouth bournemouth he uh, the hotel was in bournemouth and before going her his grandmother she presented this young boy two mouse two white mouse and uh, who whose name he has uh, he had named them the boy billy uh, william and mary the name which was given to that uh, white mouse uh, was william and mary now when they arrived over there they uh, the people out over there like uh, the atmosphere was very good people he saw many old people um, who were not well but and uh, they had come to regain their health for their uh, health purpose right so when they were staying in a hotel his hotel uh, the room was separated from his uh, grandmother uh, the grandmother stayed in the separate room and the room was connected uh, next room was connected the a door you can say a door was connected to his mother the same grandmother's room where uh, this boy stayed now this boy like at night he plays with the mouse uh, with these two mouse and they were on the bed uh, in the next morning the uh, this thing chambermaid chambermaid is the housekeeper now in the hotel every morning your the housekeeping from the housekeeping department uh, the housekeeper comes and cleans your room your makes your bed cleans your room tidy it and your bathroom right so when the uh, chambermaid came to clean his uh, um, bed uh, at that very moment one of the mouse uh, came out from underneath the uh, the thing bed cover and when she saw the mouse like uh, she screamed she screamed because in a hotel there is no you are not allowed to keep a mouse and there is no um, rats also at uh, the thing in the hotel uh, because rats are uh, very harmful they are unhygienic so when she saw this white mouse from uh, peeping out from the bed sheet she screamed out and she uh, ran out of the room when she ran out of the room many people had gathered and there uh, the same many people had gathered over there so uh, she never said anything screamingly she went to the manager's room where she told the manager that she has seen the uh, the thing a, a mouse in the boy's room now the manager like he comes up to the grandmother and the uh, the thing boy and speaks about it then uh, the grandmother she says that they, uh, she said the truth that they have a white mouse and which is not very harmful it is for the child to play now they want to keep the uh, the thing mouse in the hotel but the manager as per rule they uh, they were not allowed so the grandmother like uh, uh, what she threats the manager that what if she tells uh, the tells his uh, uh, the thing uh, guest that a mouse is here and they they refuse that it is not uh, their mouse then what will happen the the people will go away the people will go away and then she is going to report it to the health department that in this hotel in this large uh, big hotel famous hotel where thousands of people come uh, to stay over here Here, here and a mouse is uh, uh, is kept in the is found in the hotel so it will like the, your hotel will be defamed and people will go away when the people will go away obviously the revenue that is the in economic there will be damage in the economic money they will take the money also there will be no money ha na to for the him to pay to his employees and to create a name children it takes a longer period and when it becomes famous it takes uh, uh, 
लाइक मेनी पीपल कम टू यू यू गेट दिस थिंग वेन दे कम टू यू टू विजिट यू दे आर मतलब इट इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर द फॉर द कंपनी फॉर द होटल नाउ एंड बट इफ इट इज डी फेम्ड वॉट विल हैपन द इकोनॉमिक दिस थिंग ग्रोथ विल कम डाउन सो she threats him now the manager has no option but allow the child to keep the keep what right to keep the mouse white mouse then one day there was a meeting in their uh, this thing in the hotel and uh, like the uh, the boy was roaming about in the hotel it was empty he entered into a empty room it was a or it a large hall where a meeting was going to be happened so when he found that the uh, the thing uh, um, uh, room was empty he took out his mouse and he began to train them for the circus and then he while he was training the uh, these mouse and these mouse were obeying him doing whatever tricks he was being taught to him then he started visualizing himself that one day he will become a very famous person from these mouse a uh, white mouse and he will be working in the circus and uh, performing the tricks fr- through this uh, these white mouse and he he will be very famous in the world and he will be roaming to different different parts of the country he will be called by the different different part of the country to perf- uh, asking him to perform his circus now this is the what a brief story about the of this uh, the of this lesson the white mouse circus now children take out your reader book new oxford modern english to lesson number 6 page number 68 now as we already know that the story is about a young boy his name is not uh, the same given over here mentioned over here he has uh, come to live with his grandmother uh, like this boy is having a, a holiday he comes to live with his grandmother in norway when his grandmother all of a sudden she falls sick and she uh, the thing um, they uh, as such they are unable to go out anywhere for vacation so instead of that uh, this thing um, the grandmother who was sick she has been advised by the doctor to go to uh, to spend some time near the sea uh, sea side for a change they decided to go to england uh, england uh, where they had booked their uh, hotel uh, booked their room in a hotel called um, magnificent hotel which was in the town of uh, this thing bormoth bormoth which was near the sea side right now i'm going to read the bo- uh, story now le- read it le- listen it listen the story carefully and try to understand rooms were booked for us in a place called the hotel magnificent in the famous sea side town of bormoth the bormoth my grandmother told me was full of old people like herself like her mother like the room was already booked and where the thing her grandmother told that in that hotel there were you will the, the boy is going to find old people like her who hmm. who has uh, the thing they retired uh, there by the thousand by the thousands because uh, air was so bracing and healthy it keeps them so that uh, so they believe believed alive a few extra years so the grandmother told him the in that place the old people retired people come and spend their time because the place is very beautiful with fresh and clean air and atmosphere and very healthy atmosphere it is there and many people they come and stay over there just uh, the old people they believe that uh, uh, the thing their year of life their life of uh, living more will increase does it i asked of course not she said it's tommy rot 
Tommy wrote in uh, it is a British informal language. British informal language which means nonsense ya foolish. But uh, just for once I think we have got to obey the doctor. So she is saying it is rubbish I am saying but uh, it is a joke but uh, uh, the doctor has advised me to go there. Soon after that grandmother and I took the train to Burma and settled into the hotel Magnificent. It was an enormous white building in on the uh, seafront and it looked to me a pretty a pretty boring place to spend a summer holiday in. Now the grandmother and uh, himself that young boy he they traveled in a train and reached uh, uh, this thing Burmoth and they uh, settled themselves settled themselves then, then they from the train when uh, they got into the hotel and after like now he is describing the hotel that the hotel was a enormous means huge it was a huge white color building and uh, very beautiful just right in front of the uh, in front of the sea and beautiful um, uh, the thing uh, windy breeze used to blow over there but to the young boy he found that place was very boring for him to spend his summer vacation so for which holiday he had come he had come for summer vacation I had my own separate bathing bedroom but there was a door connecting my room with my uh, grandmother's room. So it was a duplex room. The mother, the grandmother had a, in one room there were uh, two rooms. In one room the grandmother used to stay and the next room which was attached to the grandmother like this young boy used to stay. Just before we left for Burmat, my grandmother had given me as a consolation a present of two white mice in a little cage and of course I took them with me. So uh, since like uh, this uh, young boy like he never wanted to go with his gra grandmother to spend his uh, summer vacation in that uh, lonely and uh, with, uh, oh, uh, with an uh, aged people. He had come to enjoy his holiday. So he agreed under one condition because his grandmother had given him a consolation prize. And what, what does consolation? Uh, the thing, consolence prize. And what was the consolence? What does consolence mean? A source of comfort to somebody who is upset and disappointed. So he was very disappointed. He never wanted to go. He was very disappointed. But yet he had to go. Listen to his grandmother. So he, uh, the grandmother to pacify his upset uh, the thing for being upset or being disappointed, she she presented him a uh, 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 the thing mice, uh, two uh, two white mice in a cage, right? And which what he the boy did, he took along with him to the uh, uh, to the hotel. Now he thought they were uh, ter uh, terrific, they were terrific funs those mice. I called them William and Mary. And in the hotel, I set out right, uh, right away teaching them do tricks. The first thing I taught them to creep uh, up the sleeves of my jacket and come down on my, uh, to, uh, by my neck. Uh, I taught, then I taught them to climb back, climb up the back of my neck upon my, upon the top of my head. Now what he did, like uh, uh, when he found, got the white mice, he said that it will be fun because he will be having a company to give. Uh, he will be uh, the same company to give him in the uh, in that island, in that uh, the same hotel, in that unknown place. And when he got that ma mice, he named them what Willie and what Mary. Very good. And in the hotel, in his room, like he used to teach this mice some tricks, like. Uh, climbing up his uh, the thing sleeve, coming up to his shoulder, going back, right? He taught them, and he was enjoying the uh, uh, this thing, enjoying their company. Now, I did the and how how he did it? He did it by uh, this thing. He he took uh, bread. 
he used to crumble it crumble means make it uh, small pieces and put it over here suppose he wanted the mice to come here so he used to put the crumble uh, bread crumbs over here and the mice used uh, used to come to have this bread crumb to uh, on his shoulder in this way like then back uh, back of his shoulder then in this way he taught on top of his shoulder by putting the bread crumbs wherever he desired the mice to come every moment uh, this thing the very first morning now what he uh, now what happened one day that the on the very first morning the chambermaid chambermaid is the woman who comes to clean the uh, the thing clean the uh, the thing room waters right and while she was cleaning uh, when one of the mice poked poked over here means to peep out or look out right so poked its head out from under the sheet the maid uh, let let out a shriek that brought a third dozen of people running to see who was being murdered now the way she screamed loudly shrieking means to cry out loudly loudly in a shrilling voice was spelling wrong shrilling voice shrilling voice right and uh, that dozen means to, uh, about 11, uh, 12 13 14 people had gathered to see why uh, that woman was crying that maid was crying uh, because the way she uh, cried it was like somebody was going to murder her then uh, this thing they they followed an unpleasant scene in the manager's office with the manager my grandmother was with me and then like when she went and reported she told to the manager about the mouse uh, mice which she saw in the room and the manager called both the grandmother and uh, the little boy now let's look at page number 69 the manager whose name was what mr stringer was a bristly man in a black tail coat now what does bristly means active energetic right he was a bristly man so i cannot uh, permit mice in my hotel madam he said to the grandmother how dare you say that when your rotten uh, hotel is full of rats anyway said the my, uh, say, uh, the grandmother cried rats cried mr stringer going my way in the face there are no there are no rats in this hotel i saw one this very morning my grandmother said it was running down the corridor into the kitchen now why she mentioned the kitchen because usually the rats are found in the kitchen and they keep on nibbling whatever eatable things are there and rat they contain poison uh, the thing they are unhygienic so when the, these rats they uh, this, they eat the food which is kept uncovered and then sent to the uh, to the um, uh, guest and when they have it they might have food poison they might fall sick so what she did she put the blame the grandmother was very wise and tricky and she put the blame on to the hotel and the manager the manager manager was very perplexed like he was very confused ki how can a rat be in my hotel when the clean when he takes a great precaution for the cleanliness of the hotel and it was famous also so uh the, the the manager was not agreeing to what the grandmother was telling him that's not true said cried mr stringer you had better get the ra rat catcher in at once my grandmother said before i report you to public health authorities now public health authorities as a as a department where uh, any complaint goes about uh, the unhygienic 
अनहाइजीन दे लाइक दे लुक इन टू द मैटर एंड नाउ दिस होटल वॉज अ वेरी फेमस पर्स दिंग फेमस होटल थाउजेंड ऑफ पीपल यूज टू कम एंड स्टे ओवर देर एज सच लॉट्स ऑफ मनी यूज टू पोर इन टू दैट यूज टू कम इन द होटल सो इफ दीज पब्लिक हेल्थ अथॉरिटीज दे कम दे कम टू नो दैट देर आर रैट्स इन दिस होटल एंड रैट्स आर ऑलवेज रनिंग अबाउट इन द किचन किचन एंड शेल्स वेर फूड्स आर दिस थिंग केप्ट सो वॉट विल हैपन लाइक द होटल विल बी डी फेम्ड राइट इट विल बी डी फेम्ड and the hotel will be closed down right so here i expect there is rats rattling shuttling or all, all over the kitchen floors stealing the food over uh, stealing the food for the shelves and jumping in and out of the soup never cried mr stringer no wonder my breakfast toast was all nibbled nibbled means bitten right bitten around the edges this morning my ma- uh, my grandmother went on uh, the same re- relentlessly no mat no wonder it had a uh, the same nasty ratty smell now uh, the grandmother is complaining about the breakfast which she got early in the morning that the uh, bread which she ordered which uh, she got for the breakfast was bitten Uh, bitten uh, bitten at some places and uh, it was also like smelling ratty ratty smell if you are not careful the health people will be ordering the entire hotel to be closed before everyone gets typhoid fever so if uh, like uh, the health people the authority uh, public health authority they come to know about this the uh, uh, that there are rats in your uh, kitchen then they will come and close down your um, your hotel because they don't want the people to suffer from typhoid now typhoid is what typhoid is a, a type of a fever and is infectious uh, bacterial fever with a eruption of red spots on your chest and the abdominal uh, in, uh, intestinal irritation like in your stomach you will be having a irritation like pain or burning and there will be a red uh, the thing spots on your chest right so uh, the, uh, the so he says that uh, that everyone will get typhoid you you are not so serious ma'am said mr stringer uh, stringer i was never more serious in my life my grandmother said are you or are you not going to allow my grand uh, grandson to keep his white uh, mice in his room the manager knew that he was beaten he was beaten means like he was caught he was trapped he was not like he won't be able to argue with his uh, grand uh, with the grandmother because uh, if uh, to save his grand uh, grandchild he uh, the thing she complains it obviously the authority will believe to believe what the customer says may i then the manager says may i suggest a compromise madam uh, he said i will permit him to keep them in his room as long as they are never allowed uh, allowed out of the cave that's what now wo uh, the thing uh, compromise what compromise the grandmother and the manager were uh, did that uh, that did was that uh, uh, the uh, the little boy will not let the white mouse come out of the cage now what does compromise means a settlement of a dispute in which two sides agree to accept less than they original wanted right now that that will suit us very well my grandmother said and she stood up and marched out of the room with me behind she agreed to it and she went out of the room there there is no way you can train my mice inside a cage i yet i dare not let them out because the chamber uh, chamber maid was spying on me 
all the time spying on me on the time she is keeping an eye on her because as such she was keeping an eye on him as such he was unable to take out the mice from the cage and uh, train him some tricks she had a key of uh, to my door and she kept bursting in uh, in at any hours trying to catch me with the the same mice out of the cage now this chamber maid she had a now every like housekeeper they have a separate key of the uh, rooms so this maid also had the key and all of a sudden you she used to come in to see if the uh, mice was out in out from the cage or not uh, in case if the mice is out of the cage she might go and report it to the manager hmm. and what they had deal will be cancelled right she told me that the first ma uh, mouse to break uh, the the first mouse to break the rules would be drowned in a bucket of water by the port uh, hall porter so what uh, the maid said that if she catch hold of that uh, this thing any mouse pe uh, coming out of the uh, cage or roaming about in the room she will catch hold of the mice and put it in a bucket full of water uh this the water like the porter uh, the sing hall porter uh, hall porter is the porter boy who carries the luggage from your from the doors or from the entrance of the hotel to your room so the porter boy will what will he do if he breaks the rule he will catch hold of the uh, the sing mice and put it and drown him uh, and kill uh, kill him by drowning uh, inside the water in the bucket I decided to seek a safer place where I could carry on with training. There, uh, there must really be an empty room in in this enormous room hotel. I put one mouse uh, in each trouser pocket and wandered. Wandered beats roam about uh, this thing downstairs in search of a secret spot. Now, what he did, uh, he thought when that he will he is unable to uh, give training to his mouse in the room, so he decided to uh, uh, do the training outside the room. So he put the mice in in both uh, in both of his uh, this thing pocket, trouser pocket, pants pocket, and he started looking for a vacant place, a lonely place where he can give them the training. The ground floor of the hotel was maze. of public room uh, all uh, all of them named in gold letter on the doors i wandered through the lounge and the card room and the reading room and the drawing room none of them were empty i went on went down a long wide corridor and at the end of it i came the ball room now uh, what he did he uh, roamed about in all the uh, this thing hotel checking for a empty room he went into the lounge room that is a waiting room uh, this thing uh, card room where you can play cards right reading room where you can sit people can sit and read books from uh, this thing from the room from the uh, from the uh, shelf the books where the uh, where the where, where it is kept in the shelf from the drawing room drawing room is where where people sit and chat and make friends right but all of them were not vacant there were no uh, they were not empty then at last he found a ballroom ballroom is a room where uh, dance takes place so there was a double door leading into it and in front of the door there was a large notice uh, board on the stand the notice was on uh, was on the board now at when he went to the ballroom uh, this thing uh, he saw that there was a notice board in front of the door and then there was a notice uh, written on it the double doors in the room was open and i peeped uh, peeped it uh, it was a uh, this thing uh, council room there were rows and rows of chairs all facing a platform the chairs were painted gold and they uh, they had a little red cushion on the seat but there was not a soul inside
now what he do did when he entered the room he found, uh, entered the room it was like the ro room was very beautiful there were rows of chairs kept in a decent form with red uh, the thing uh, cushions on it and uh, the chairs uh, edge this thing the chairs uh, frame were uh, painted with gold and red uh, and it was covered with red cushion right and uh, but there was nobody in that room right now next is i sidil i quietly uh, got inside the room uh, without being un uh, being noticed what a lovely secret place it was the meeting of the royal society for the prevention of uh, cruelty to children so in that room a meeting was going to be held and where it was written the uh, the thing royal society for the prevention of uh, uh, cruelty to children must have taken place earlier in the days and now they had all gone home even if they hadn't even if they did suddenly come pouring in they would be uh, wonderfully kind people who would look with favor upon the young mouse trainer going about with uh, going about his business now uh, that in that room that uh, the thing a meeting has maybe the meeting has already taken place or the meeting is going to be taken place may uh, the uh, place so whatever it may be but he thought that if they if the any people come inside when they see this young trainer they might uh, the thing have some uh, they might show some pity on him and allow him to carry on with his work at the back of the room there was a large uh, fo uh, folding screen with the chinese uh, dragon painting on it i decided just to be uh, on the safe side to go behind the screen and do my training there i wasn't uh, i wasn't a bit frightened of the um, prevention of cruelty to children people uh, people but there was always a chance that mr springer the manager might pop in uh, pop his head around the door if he did and if uh, he saw the mice the poor thing would be uh, uh, would be in the door porters uh, porters bucket uh, of water before i could uh, shout stop so over here what he did when he enter, entered he went behind the room when he went behind the room he saw that there were paintings of a chinese dragon right and he thought that behind the chinese dragon uh, this is screen he sat over there he thought this is a safer place because if he is in the room uh, any time the manager can come in and peep and if uh, they if he found him uh, this thing with the with his mice so what will he do he will take that those mice and put it in a uh, the sink tub full of water they would drown him down those uh, mice in the tub full of water and the mice will uh, die so what he did Uh, he hid behind the screen uh, of the uh, this thing chinese uh, uh, dragon painting just behind the room and uh, and uh, this thing he continued with his training i tip top to the back of the room and settled myself on, on the thick uh, green carpet behind the big screen what a splendid splendid means beautiful place this was I did for the mouse training. I took uh, the thing, took William and Mary out of my uh, my trouser pocket. They sat behind me on the carpet, quiet and well behaved. So what he did, tip top means uh, the thing, tip top means very quietly, without making any noise. He went behind at the back of the room and he settled down by taking out the um, mice from his pocket. and the mice uh, uh, mice like both the mice mary and william they were also very good, behaving themselves well and sit uh, sit down quietly on the green carpet the trick i was going to teach them today was uh, thick rope uh, walking it was not all that difficult to train an intelligent mouse to be a, to be an expert uh, tight rope rope 
walker provided you know exactly how to go about it uh, first you must have a piece of string i had that, uh, that i had then you must have some good cakes a uh, fine uh, curtain uh, the thing um, current fine current means uh, fine current means raisin a uh, very uh, the cake must be very delicious with uh, with lots of raisin on it in it is the favorite food of white minds so they they are dotty about it i had bought it with the, uh, with me a rock, a rock cake which i had pocketed the day before so what he did like the trick which he wanted to uh, teach these uh, those uh, white mice was walking on the rope so uh, which he found that it was very easy he would uh, tempt it, tempt those uh, mice with the help of the raisin cake which was their favorite food and the, they might learn quickly I, I, and moreover like it is considered that the, the white mice are very intelligent in kebab you might have noticed that uh, the thing the scientists they to, they practice or do the experiment on the white mice they do their experiments on the white mice whatever they want to find it out so it is considered that the white mice are very intelligent now next now here's what you do you stretch the uh, the string string tight between your two hands but you start by keeping it uh, very short the only about 3 inches i put the ma mouse on my right hand uh, right hand and a little uh, the thing piece of cake on my left hand now the mouse is for is therefore only 3 inches so away from the cake i can see see it and he can smell it his whiskers whiskers means the mustache the uh, the mouse mice like the mouse has his whiskers was twisting like when they you have seen the mouse like when they smell so when you smell so like when i am smelling my my mouth is moving this way and that way so if i had a mustache uh, like uh, like the mouse has so with that whisker my whiskers is also move along the way my mo uh, mouth moves i can also stretch the cake by leaning forward and not quite he was he only has to take two steps along the string to reach the tasty uh, the thing morsel morsel means small pieces we uh, he wandered forward one paw on the string and then the other if the mouse was uh, has a good sense of balance and most of them do they will uh, they will get uh, uh, easily cross i stayed with i started with willy will william we wa he walked the string without a moment uh, moments hesitation without any uh, taking a second decision i uh, i let him have a quick nibble of the cake just to uh, wet his appetizer and then i put back on my right eye so what he did the uh, what he did with the two hands like he took a string with the two hands he kept it like this right 3 inches and what he did 3 inches he spread it the string is like this and he kept the mouse over here and in the other hand he kept uh, the cake first what he did he gave those mouse uh, the, the thing will uh, william a uh, little bit of cake to eat to taste it to tempt it now uh, the thing when he ate obviously he found it very tasty he was searching for more uh, but uh, he tried to sense it out by smelling right when he felt that nearby there are like um, uh, cakes uh, the thing cake kept so what he did he try to walk on the string to reach the cake which is on my uh, the thing right hand uh, side and he balanced himself to reach to the other side of my hand from my left hand to the other uh, the thing hand right hand which was the string was of how many meters uh, inches 3 inches he walked and he got through and he ate the uh, the thing um, cake easily this time i lengthened the string i made it 6 inches long william knew what to do with superb balance he walked 
step by step along the uh, string uh, until he reached the cake he was awarded with another nibble so what he did when he was successful in doing the first time he increased the length of the string more he increased it to 6 inches now in one hand he kept uh, the his the rat uh, this william and the other hand he kept uh, not rat mouse ha huh. and the hand he kept uh, the cake now again like but he the length of the both the hands he increased it with the string right now then if uh, the uh, the sir william wanted to eat more rats so he had to again walk on the string uh, balance him balance it and get the cake which is kept on his right hand in this way he was trying to teach teach the rats quite soon william was walking 20 in this way he kept on increasing the size of the length of the uh, the thing uh, string and ultimately like uh, he was able to walk in 24 inches uh, inches of rope he was able to walk uh, the white right right uh, white rat was able to walk on it he was enjoying himself tremendously i was careful to hold the string near the carpet so that if he does lose balance he wouldn't fall, uh, he wouldn't have far off to fall but he never fell william was obviously a natural acrobat a, a great tip uh, the thing great tight uh, rope walker mouse so what he found that uh, the william was the white rat william was enjoying himself uh, walking on the ropes and eating the um, cake and at the same time the young boy was also feeling very happy that from 3 inches he started and now william was able to walk on 24 inches of the rope at the same time he never kept the uh, height of the rope very high in case if william falls down he does not get hurt he falls down on the green carpet now it was mary's turn i put mary sing william on the carpet beside me and rewarded him some more extra crumbs and uh, uh, currants then i started do, going through the same routine all over again with uh, with mary my blinding amb- uh, my blinding ambition you see my dream of dreams was to become one day the owner of the white mouse circus now what now he tried the same trick with mary starting with two uh, this thing 3 inches keeping uh, the keeping uh, this thing mary in one hand and the, in the second hand he keeping the uh, crumbs of the crumbs of the um, uh, cake and he, and similarly like he tried the same stunt and he uh, was able to teach uh, teach mary and then at the same time he started dreaming that one day he might become the owner of the white mouse circus right now uh, this thing and when the curtains were drawn apart the uh, audience audience the public the uh, public would see my famous work performing mice walking on the uh, tight ropes swinging from tapis turning the somersaults in the air and bouncing on the trampo- trampolines and all the rest rest i would have white uh, the thing white mice riding riding on a uh, white ra- rats and the rats would be galloping fuel furiously around round and round the stage i uh, i was uh, becoming um, i was beginning to picture myself traveling first class all over uh, the globe with my famous white uh, uh, the thing white mouse circus and performing before the before all the crowded heads of europe so what like when when both of the uh, the thing mice was able to learn easily he started imagining that uh, he would teach the um, rats uh, um, uh, the acrobats riding on uh, the thing riding galloping like as you see in the circus all sort of uh, tricks that the 
um, animals does he thought of uh, teaching them them and one day he would become very fa famous that he would be traveling in the first class uh, uh, compartment and uh, where where people will call him and to see his um, circus and this how he the, the story ends so children i hope you must have understood what i have taught uh, taught and uh, i will be also attaching the pdf uh, please uh, go uh, this thing uh, write it down in your copy or or not take the hard copy of it out and write it slowly slowly whenever you find time at home now be a good child and keep yourself busy with your studies not roaming about outside the house thank you